Hi, and welcome to the first chapter where we're going to explore the studio's execution log and reports at different execution levels, including test case, test suite, and test suite collection. We're also guiding you through on how to customize the log viewer and set up video recordings for advanced troubleshooting and debugging. First off, let's create a sample project in Calon Studio. If you haven't installed the tool yet, pause this video, go to calon.com download and install it. Now go to File, New Sample Project. We'll use the shopping cart sample for this course. Wait for a few seconds and you're good to go. On the last sidebar in the test cases folder, we've already got some samples. Same thing goes for the test suites folder below. You can see there are already some test suites in a test suite collection. You can group relevant test cases into one suite for better management and execution, and run it every time your source code has a new change. For example, you can put all the test cases for regression testing into a suite. A test suite allows you to categorize test cases in such a way that matches your analysis needs. At a higher level, we've got test suite collections, which is symbolized by a file with a dock icon. As its name suggests, it's a group of many test suites which gives you more options to plan your test executions. Like in this one, it has three suites, and each of them has one or more test cases. We usually use test suite collections to run many test suites across multiple platforms. Just by double-clicking on this value here in the Run With column, you can assign or change the execution environment of a suite. Also, a good part about using a test suite collection is that you can run tests in parallel mode instead of one after another, aka the sequential mode, to reduce the execution time, especially on a large number of tests. You also have the option to create a dynamic test suite by right-clicking on the test suites folder. For the concept, a dynamic test suite allows you to gather test cases automatically using search queries. But in this course, we don't need to use it. It will be discussed in another course for test management. Moving on to the reports folder, where we're going to see the report of a test suite and test suite collection. Since we haven't run any tests yet, there's nothing to see here. Last but not least, we'll learn about test ops. It's a part of the Calon platform that is used for test orchestration and analytics, from which you can get more actionable insights into test performance, trends, and the AUT's quality. That's all you need to know for now. In our next lessons, we'll run some tests, explore the log viewer, and have a look at their reports. See you.